let's take a look at some channel identification tools available to you on the EOS. In our virtual rig, we have a look up on stage, and of course it's comprised of, of many, many different lights, and sometimes it's helpful to know what is controlling that light, or whether it's a manual value, whether it's a, uh, in a queue or in a sub, and I want to talk to you about a mode called About on the EOS console, and if I push the About key, my CIA is going to repaint and, and start giving me some general information, but What's nice about this is once I'm in about mode, if I grab, say, channel 1, what's going to happen is the CAA will now display all of the relevant information about channel 1. It will tell me what its source is, what kind of device it is. Along the right-hand side of the about window are several different buttons that allow me to look at different information about that, whether it's its current values, where it's moved in the show, usage, a nice thing about usage, if you've ever had a designer say, are we even using that channel? You can go to usage and say, why yes, we are using that channel. It happens to be in one queue. You can see it's patch, and if you're talking about a multi-parameter fixture, say I change my selection to 21, I can go to lamp controls, and I have all of the lamp controls associated with that channel right there. So the about mode is something that uh, you may just want to keep open if there's nothing else going on in your CIA, because at a quick glance you can see what, what each channel is doing. Now also, if you're looking at your stage, it might be helpful to identify where a light is or see if it's uh, focused in the right spot or, or anything. And there's a, a feature in the console called Flash, an automatic way to blink the light. Flash is a soft key, so if I wanted to flash channel 21, which I have selected, I hit more soft keys and flash, if my flash wasn't already in a soft key, and enter. And the console will simply flash that light, so you can easily identify a light regardless of its state. When I push clear, it turns off the flash and resets that light back to its value where you had it last set. There is also a mode in the console called highlight, and what highlight allows you to do is better identify where um, a multi-parameter fixture is aimed or where it's focused, because what highlight will do is remove anything in the gate, like a color or an image or a gobo or anything like that. Now highlight is a mode on the console, and to go into highlight mode I have to hit the highlight key, which is above my level keypad. Highlight, enter, and you'll notice on the command line now highlight mode is turned on. And what's nice about highlight is you can do an individual channel and highlight it, or you can do a range. The range is really nice because using next and last you can select individual channels. For example, I can grab channels 21 through 28, and all of my Mac 700s are now in highlight mode. If I need to see each fixture individually, I can just start hitting next and last. Maybe I get to this fixture and it needs to make a slight focus adjustment. And if you look on your external monitor, you'll see uh, all of the values that have been put into highlight mode will show up with an HL to indicate that it has been temporarily removed from its color or the gobo or whatever happens to be in it, and it's in highlight mode. Now to get out of highlight mode, I can just hit highlight again, and it takes the console out of highlight mode, and I'm returned to the look that I had previously, and I can then update any values that I've changed in focus. So those are your channel identification tools available to you on the EOS.